Alright, what is going on guys? So I actually filmed this video yesterday, but I didn't make an intro because it's totally not what I went out to film. Uh, I was expecting the fish to be in the bays. I was expecting them to have spawned and just be hanging around in the spawning bays, but they were nowhere to be found in the bays. So I ended up having to fish open water for these fish. And yeah, it was a bit of a struggle, but we got some fish, so we got a video. So yeah, not what I intended to film, but we got some fish caught. So yeah, we'll make something out of it. So hope you guys enjoy. There's a fish on the trawl. Wasn't expecting that then. Oh, it's just come off. Oh no. <laughs> Put some right gashes in that. Right, there is fish in this bay then. I just um, stopped fishing with that jerk. I put this onto trial, move to the next spot, and yeah, fish hit it anyway. On the trial. Some bird watching there, a bit annoying. <laughs> right, guys. Oh! Just started, um, I feel too bad this. Just started rowing because my um, motor's pretty much running out of battery already for some reason. <laughs> Chucked a jig fly off back at boat, which was troll. And uh, yeah, hooked this guy. So it looks like they're starting to come to feed a little bit now, which is really good. He slammed that head first. Trolling a jig fly, who would have thought? Eh? <laughs> nailed into it. There we go. Get it or not. Alright guys, jig flies out. Lovely looking pike. Very nice condition to be fair. So I'm going to go put back. This jig fly was uh, covered in weed as well. It's kind of funny. But I think I'm going to put my anchor down. Uh, not anchor drove down and drift, drift back over where I hooked that pike. To be fair, I probably have drifted over that where I hooked that pike already, to be fair, but uh, yeah, that's another fish for the day. On the jig fly, no hook set needed. No action needed as well, straight retrieve on a troll. Let's have one cast for this, then I'll move a bit further back. Probably drifting all this anyway with where winds going. Right <laughs> guys, I think the fish have come onto the feed now. I've just ripped this um I've just been trolling this jig fly again. Just ripping it back because it was tracking the surface. Uh just gonna check for weed and put it back out again and a jack just come and smashed it when it was boat side. So yeah, I think they are. There we go, he's coming again. Oh, he's off. <laughs> they are coming onto the feed, finally. It's always so slow in the morning here, but it's starting to wake up now. Get back up there, drift back down, and yeah, hopefully get some fish caught. That was a cool hit. Shame I didn't have my camera on for when, when, when I hit first, that was really sweet. All right, not as many fish at this top end as I thought they were going to be. Like, normally this is the hot spot if they're not in the bays, but they're not up here today and <laughs> they're not in the bays. So we're going to have to do a big drift now, see what we can find. And yeah, when I rode up from down there, down that way, I had a few hits. So we're going to drift over that really. Anchor up, drogue in. Big drift and then, and then I'll come back up and then drift a bit further down, see if we can find some fish. I'm attached to this boy at the minute though, which isn't perfect. There we go, we're off the boy. Right.
move away from this bar and I'll talk to Rogan. And I'm gonna fish for this red tail one. Pretty confident in this colour. I had one follow with it sort of 10 minutes ago, so I'm gonna fish with it. Drove untangled. Yes. Get some casts in done. Cover some dis cover some water now. See what we can come up with. So definitely the fish are not shoulder up at the minute, which is like wrong for this time of year. It's really strange that they usually shoulder up in here right until May time. But they're not today, so Unless they're just really not feeding today. But there should be with this weather, it seems bang on for it. I'm just checking <laughs> I just took it again now. Yes. Just checking out Instagram notification on my phone. Got a hit on the diamond shard. Don't know how big it is yet, or a really long cast that. I took it on the drop. I missed the hook set and then I came back for it. Don't feel big though. Went pretty quick, oh, it's tiny. <laughs> oh fish number four today though. Greedy little guy. Leave a tough fish. <laughs> Big bait for a little pike. Hit that pretty hard, then you know. Wait, there we go. Hooks out. Fourth pike today. My little jack. Well, that's kind of what I'm expecting to be honest. See you, buddy. That was on the DB Fishing Diamond Shad. First time I used one of these in a while, to be fair. Just made this new colour. Well, I made this years ago actually, but remade this new colour, which is like a silver flashy body and a red tail. Uh, it's got UV pigment in it now as well, so. Also UV, don't know if it makes a difference, but it might. I fish like the UV anyway. Okay, fourth fish today, probably. I don't know, second fish in this video, I think, because I filmed the video before I started this one. But yeah, we're getting some fish now, finally. They're definitely not in the usual spots though, which is really weird. I think I'll get a few more on this drift to be fair. Very um, spread out fish, which is crazy. At this time of year, it's not normal <laughs> for this place anyway. They're normally well sh uh, shoulder up. Just coming up to a really shallow area now. Sort of an underwater island if you want. Um, usually holds a lot of fish, but again, today they might not be there. But we'll see. Try a few different baits around it. Hopefully we'll drift straight over it, to be fair. And I say really shallow area. This lake, the deepest part is two meters. So a really shallow area in this lake, we're talking half a meter. If you get what I mean, so it comes up from two meters to half a meter, so it's still for this place, it's still a big change of depth that you don't get like all the way around. So, yeah, it definitely holds fish. Oh, 
Ooh, is that the bottom or is that a fish? I'm guessing it was the bottom. We're right on the shallow area now. Ooh. Nice to feel someone in the rod there. <laughs> I'm going to have one more cast and then I'm going to have a 10 minute break. Have some food. I'm on a diet so I'm not eating much but yeah, get some energy back from not catching fish and then hopefully we can catch some fish. Last cast. Last cast and then we've got five lovely hours to catch some more fish hopefully. Right guys, break time is over. Back to fishing now. Had a lot of think and I've decided, seeing as this um, 24 centimeter diamond shad were doing well, the downsides of one, still a pretty chunky lure, so I thought I'd go similar colour pattern, but even more downsize for the goby shad. You can see that's a lot smaller profile, but yeah, for the small pike, it's definitely going to be a better search bait for trying to just get some bites and get a few fish caught so yeah i've took the rigging off the river roach put it on this and have a cast about with it wind's picked up again but yeah we've got the drogue out so it won't be drifting too fast get the anchor up after this cast and we'll fingers crossed get some fish caught There's a fish. Yes. That's slammed into it then. Goby Shad. A little bigger than the last one. Okay, good choice changing to this then. Oh yeah, just put, put the whole bait down. Aggressive, like, thump. Yeah. Like a, a Xander thump, that, if you know what I mean. Wait, hit it. Not a big one again, but it's sort of standard, standard jack size for this place. Nailed it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut hooks on this one, unfortunately. Just uh, try to show you guys. Took the bait through the gill, so rather than ragging the, ragging the hook back through the gill, we'll just cut it. Pull it out through the bottom. Obviously easy enough to put a new hook on. Rather than damaging the fish, you know what I mean? Shame I've got the world's stiffest cutters from the outside here. It's the easiest way to get through to it. Actually, we'll go bar at a time. Be easier. Can pop that out this way. Two. Three. And then that should slide out of there. Pretty. Pretty easy. No, no, damage the pike's gills then. There we go, fifth fish. Lovely looking fish, it's only a little, but yeah, I'll get this guy put back. See you, buddy. Yeah, the goby shard <laughs> crushed it. That was like just after I've had that little break, and then I don't know, five casts, six casts, we're on. So, new hook, get back fishing with it. Where am I? Scissors over here. Yeah, it's better to waste a hook rather than ragging it out of the fish's mouth, even if it's a little fish, you know what I mean? Alright, so that's it guys. On the water for 10 hours, I caught five fish. Two in the video I filmed before. 
Not sure if that's going to have gone out already or not. But then, yeah, two in that and then three in this one. So, yeah, very, very slow session, especially for that place I was. So, hopefully, I'm going to go back in a week or two and hopefully the feeding. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video anyway. I tried to put some tips in there for what, what I do when it's a hard day and everything. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Um, let me know any video ideas you want me to make. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.